Hey everyone, welcome to JS Cafe. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how can we load CSS asynchronously. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Uh, so in this code snippet, basically, I am having three style sheets, and one of the style sheet is uh, very critical for the website. And these two style sheets are actually not uh, critical for the website. If these two CSS are downloaded later, then that won't be a problem. Okay, but uh, we are using this very basic syntax to include our st external st style sheet into our HTML template. Now let's run this code and see the waterfall for this particular section. So as you can see that first of all, our HTML file was loaded at the highest priority. Then non-critical CSS was loaded first. Then style one was loaded and after that critical CSS was loaded. For 10 plus 10 plus 10, actually for 30 seconds, our uh, rendering was blocked. So if you are not familiar with the word rendering, what it actually means, let me take you to an article and explain what is a, you know, a render block. Okay, so uh, let's read this out. By default, CSS is treated as a rendering bl blocking resource, which means that the browser won't render any processed content until the CSS ARM is constructed. So CSS ARM is basically CSS object model. Okay, this is this is a DOM of CSS. And make sure to keep your CSS lean, deliver as quickly as possible, and use media type and queries to unblock rendering. Okay, I hope you got the point. Uh, one more point: both HTML and CSS are rendering blocking resources. So this means that until and unless I have parsed a CSS, I have parsed the HTML, I won't see anything on my screen because render is blocked up till that time. So what we conclude that is the the larger the CSS file is the more time it will take to render our page right. So it is uh, wise actually to divide your styles into multiple style sheets and create one style sheet that is actually very critical for the website okay that is for the first uh, critical rendering. Let's suppose you have the basic UI of navigation, uh, some buttons, some basic styles and all. So include those styles basically in a, a particular style sheet. Okay. And uh, now whatever else is left, treat this as a non-critical CSS and have them in multiple styles as well according to your module. Okay. Now we saw that uh in this uh, waterfall that uh, critical css were actually loaded after 20 milliseconds okay right and this was actually something uh you know this is something which we don't want uh can there be some way where we can you know uh, load non-critical css and style one css asynchronously so that more preference is given to our critical ones okay so for that uh we can uh do a trick Basically, let me comment this out the regular flow and let me uncomment this, uh, you know, thing for you. Okay, let's look what we are doing. So we are uh, having everything that is present in the normal link style, a uh, link tag uh, that is link uh, relation to style sheet. I have the href and here I have passed the media and uh, on the on load of it, I am doing some uh, something. Okay, so by default, the media for this part okay for this particular link tag is set to all okay this value so this means that uh, media equals to all okay this is what it means we don't need to write it but this is what it actually means now whenever our browser starts reading these lines the moment it finds a link tag it uh, blocks the render and start processing it okay and it generates a css om for it okay now Let's suppose uh, our browser came to this file and it uh, found that, oh, it is a link tag. Okay, I have a style sheet. This is the path. Oh, wait, but the media is print. Okay, so whenever there is uh, the media value is not set to all, rather if it is set to print, uh, what uh, HTML thinks is that this 
particular media is set for some uh, other purpose like when we are printing our web page this uh, particular style would be applied okay so what browser automatically does is that it uh, loads the css uh, asynchronously okay and it doesn't blocks our render okay now but we want this media to be changed after this content is loaded right so we have a on load property also present inside the link tag okay now whenever this on load function is triggered which means that we have loaded this particular css file i am changing the media property to all okay so that now after loading uh, the media is changed to all and uh, or whatever style is present can be applied after uh, you know uh, we have things ready okay so this is the trick that is gonna uh, work very well and i think this is supported by all the browsers uh, there are other ways to load a styles asynchronously via javascript but we will take that discussion in some other video but for now we should understand what this part is doing okay so we uh, we have added two things actually one is the media prop uh, attribute and another is a on load okay let me uh, recall this again by setting media to print a uh, browser figures out that this is this particular media is loaded when we user want to print something and when the website is loaded there is no point of uh, including css that are that are to be applied on printing pages okay so uh, what browser does is that browser basically uh, downloads them asynchronously and uh, it uh, continues rendering for the rest uh, next lines okay now the uh, we have this uh, event listener on load okay whenever this is triggered whenever the loading of this particular css file is finished when the once the loading is finished i am setting the media to all again so that uh, when the browser should understand now that this particular css should be applied now onto the main page that the user is seeing okay now let us have a look at the waterfall once again okay now look that earlier these non critical and style 1.css were above the critical.css file now you see that first uh, first of all critical css file was loaded in 4 milliseconds okay you see the uh, you see the waterfall of this it is before now after some time we uh, now after some time non critical and cs uh, style bounder css were loaded in this particular section right you can see that these two uh, waterfalls are actually after the ones of the critical.css which means that non critical.css and style bounder.css although being declared above critical.css these two uh, they are uh, loaded after critical.css right and this is exactly the feature what we want because we want to load all the basic style crucial styles first and whatever are the extra uh, uh, non-critical um, css we can load them uh, on the later stages okay so this is how we uh, load css asynchronously and this is this thing is very powerful because uh, our uh, rendering is not blocked okay so many a time the question is asked uh, since CSS uh, is a render blocking how can we optimize uh, CSS uh, assets and how can we uh, minimize uh, renders uh, render blocking actually so you have to tell uh, about this approach okay to the interviewer he will be uh, satisfied also uh, there is one uh, extra thing I wanted to tell you guys is that this if you want to do oh, a preload along with async okay so uh, this is actually uh, you know uh, extra thing not needed at all but uh, what is happening is that if you uh, if you remember the previous video we have discussed preload prefetch and preconnect okay so i think you are already aware what this preload means if you are not aware of what this preload is do check out uh, the previous video okay now uh what this will do is this will basically uh set the priority of this particular style sheet high actually and uh, now uh, what we are doing is that on load uh, i am changing the relation as a style sheet okay so what what this thing is doing it is preloading and uh, after uh, the loading is done i am consuming this particular link tag ka style sheet via changing the rel attribute okay
you remember right uh, once we preload any asset uh, it is required for us to use it right so in order to use the particular style sheet i need to change the uh, relation value to the style sheet so that uh, this becomes uh, usable right if we don't do this uh, although this style tool.css would be loaded but again you are not consuming it anywhere to make it consumable i am changing the rel property this particular property as a style sheet and uh, browser will understand that now i have to utilize the classes uh, or ids that are inside this particular css file okay uh, let me show you the uh, waterfall as well you can see that style 2.css being a preload was given very high priority okay highest this was loaded now and after some time a uh, critical css was loaded and uh, non critical and style one, style one with css was loaded with the lowest priority see the value is the lowest okay so this was how uh, we can uh, improvise on loading critical and not non critical css assets and uh, trust me this this uh, these small things are really powerful uh, when you are making big applications and they improve the performance network load time significantly right it is it is it makes a huge impact on the website and generally uh, uh, these questions are asked in interviews right if you are applying for uh, if you are having a system design round right or even a general basic front end questions they tend to ask uh, uh, how can we uh, avoid uh, render blocking and we want to load the css as well then this is something what you have to talk about okay yeah so uh, this was all in this video i hope you like the content if you have any doubts any questions then do let me know in the comments or you can ping me on uh, instagram linkedin i am there i will be happy to uh, answer your queries and yeah and if you have anything to add in this part feel free to add it let's discuss and explore things so yeah this was all uh, in this video till then take care goodbye see you in the next one oh.